What's up, everybody? And today we are looking at ER Patient Typhoon, a new horror game, action, adventure, adventure horror game, uh, releasing today. And I want to thank John and Maria from Professional Villains for sending me a copy of this game before it released so I could get this review out to you guys. And just to let you know, I'm not taking any money, any kickbacks, nothing like that. And man, what an experience. If you're looking for a unique story and unique graphics, um, you may want to stick around and see what this game is all about. And just to let you know, this is a very heavy story driven game. So I'm gonna keep the story aspects to the minimum. And I'm also going to keep footage to uh, kind of like the first half of the game, because the other half gives away a lot of details. And I don't want to do that because if you're interested in this game, trust me, play it for the story. But let's just uh, get with that. And if you guys actually do like this review, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the game will be down in the description. So let's jump into this. The ER has you play as an unknown female protagonist who wakes up in what looks to be a prison, but is an emergency room called St. Arcos. Oh yeah, and she's had her arms removed. Right from the start, you can tell everything is off. From the staff being rude and strange, the way you ended up in the ER seems coincidental, and every other patient is also missing limbs. Three red flags blaring to get the hell out of this joint. In your escape, you'll find that the true intentions of the doctor and run into some unique and oddly gruesome enemies. With the disadvantage of no arms, you're going to need to use your wits, hide, and run to survive. With those wits comes the mechanics of the game. With simplistic controls either being played with keyboard or controller, no need for a mouse where we're going. Sorry, Remy. WASD is your movement, space is your run. That's all. Every interaction you'll have is just by running into the item and animations kicking off. Now, the only issue I had with the controls was the sprint. It's short, no way to cancel it, and in some chase sequences, it takes a hot second to start sprinting again. Now, I understand most of the reasons for why sprinting is designed this way. Your character is slightly drugged and really not having a sense of control or balance because she now has the body shape of a dart. The controls while running, though, is something that gets in the way of the overall gameplay. On a handful of times, I needed to run from a creature past some objects and would find myself caught on them and eventually would die. Something that could easily be avoided with just a tad more control. Now, this could easily be avoided and dismiss the frustrations of dying four times to a liquor dog hybrid because of a yellow barrel. And that's really the only issue I've seen in the game when it comes to mechanics that I had any problems. The puzzles in the game are simplistic, with few that need little digging to figure out the answer. And most of the story's backgrounds are found on notes scattered about. Enemies and chase sequences are great and add a lot of tension to the game. Now really the only issue I found is that it seems you kind of have to go through some trial and error with new monsters or scenes. Dying may be prevalent on your first playthrough, and I'm rarely a fan of trial and error, only finding it acceptable in a few style of games. But I am happy to say I can look past this because they had the foresight into kind of adjusting the game where if you've beaten a puzzle or a scripted event when you die and respawn, you no longer have to go through them again, saving me the time and effort from repeating them. And honestly, with each bizarre enemy having a unique kill and giving you an achievement for dying, it may be worth running back through the halls just one more time. Now, my favorite part, graphics and sound design. Graphically, it's unique, with its hand-drawn elements and backdrops being simplistic but conveying its message clearly. With the designs of the monsters, gruesome and strange. And when you find and encounter a new one, you may be taken back and shocked for a second. I had a cold chill a time or two when they started chasing me, and one of the biggest components of this was all thanks to the sound design. With strange sounds from monsters, medical equipment, and many other things, all using directional sound, giving you a 3D feel inside of a 2.5D game. Only downside being honestly in the creature sounds, repeating with a short sound recording and no deviation from the same sound. Now the music that follows, if you can even call it music in some sections, brings a lot of the tension. With sections that kind of sound like scraping chords on a guitar to what just sounds like random plucking of strings and sections of rising scales in the audio to build your fear and keep you in this state of unease. 
all coming together to give you an edge of your seat experience with minimal effort in many sections. Overall, it's the mystery of the ER and the tension is really what's going to keep you playing. The ER patient Typhon is about three hours long, at least for me, and this was the bad ending. So a good ending is achievable, also with a strange safe on the main screen that you'll have to find out for yourself what's inside. It's a wonderful experience that anyone who loves tension, a unique story, and world building must pick up. I give this a 7 out of 10, and this is a good score in my book. Yes, it has a few hiccups, but the story is something that drove me throughout the whole game in one sitting, and I would have started again if it wasn't so late in the night. So again, if this is something that looks even interesting to you, I would say without a doubt, pick this up. Link's going to be down in the description, as well as a link to the Discord if you guys want to come chat. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe again, guys. It helps out the channel and lets me know if I'm doing things right. But like always, guys. I'll see you in the next video and have fun.